Hey guys, it's Adam here from Peddling Pizza. I'm here today, I'm gonna to show you how to unpack and prepare your Gosney dough balls. Okay, so we've got our Gosney dough ball kit here, powered by Peddling Pizza. I'm gonna just open it up. This one's got some wall pack in it. This stuff's completely recyclable, so make sure you recycle it. And here's our dough balls, a couple of ice packs. You can reuse these, so just stick them back in your freezer. And here's our dough balls. I'm gonna get them out. Get rid of the box. Okay, so we've got our dough balls out here. They're gonna to arrive to you in a semi-frozen condition. If you don't wanna use them straight away, pop them into the freezer. It won't affect the final product. If you wanna use them now, I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay, so we've got our dough balls here. The other six I've chucked in the freezer for later. We've got here the dough tray that you get in the beginner starter kit from Gosney. This is a great bit of kit for fermenting your dough balls in. You can actually mix your dough in this, you can bulk ferment in this, and it fits in the domestic fridge. It's a great bit of kit to have. Take the lid off, get ready. Gonna slice the pack open, open it up. Dough balls still semi-frozen. Might just wanna like bring them back together in a little round in your hands like that. Still a little bit frozen. Just place them in the tray. You're gonna wanna leave enough space between the balls because they are gonna expand. They're gonna sort of like double in size. Place those in there and put the lid on them. Leave them at room temperature, like 18, 20 degrees, nice warm room for about five, six hours. And you'll see they'll start to grow. At that point, you can make pizza with them or just stick them in the fridge for a day or two and they'll be banging. Okay, so after you've fermented your dough balls in a dough tray, this is what they're gonna look like. These ones were left at room temperature for about five or six hours. They started to grow, then I stuck them in the fridge for two days. So what you should be looking for is for them to be at least doubled in size. They're gonna grow, they're gonna touch like this. Uh, no worries, because you can cut them out. They're gonna be like really, really light, really fluffy, and they're gonna make banging pizza. So just gonna get a little bit of flour and flour the balls. Just use some double zero flour, some semolina, whatever you've got really. And you're gonna want to use a scraper or some kind of flat blade. Just gonna cut the dough balls out. And you're gonna get underneath it and you're just gonna lift it up confidently. Put it in the flour upside down. You can turn it the right way up. Get some flour on your surface. Get the dough ball down. At this point, if you've opened it up and it's gone a little bit squiffy, a little bit square, then you can just put it back into a ball. Might be a little bit puffy, just pinch that off, not a problem. And then from this point, we're just gonna make a pizza. Okay, we're done. There you go. It's a margarita made with our dough balls. Got a nice little bit of puffy air, nice little crunch out of the oven. Let's give it a slice. Love this slicer, man. Beautiful. There you go, got a nice bit of color on the underside. Nice bit of lightness, bit of puff. Beautiful. 